Okay, I'm recording. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I know I never have done this before, but uh, I bought one of these because these look sick and I love the movie. It is the Marvel's Legend series, Guardians of the Galaxy Helmets. Yeah, why is this so low quality for some reason? So low quality. Oh my god, it's so blurry. I got smudges on my camera, that's why. Okay, I'm sorry guys for the low quality today. We have Guardians of the Galaxy Marvel Star Lord. It's from the new movies, the second movie. Here's this side. That side. Just a bunch of random info. Same thing. And oh, here's some description about the thing. Built-in speakers. Built-in speakers. Um, yeah, it's just a bunch sound effects. Um, adjust to fit most head sizes. Electric helmet. Two LEDs. Um, that, yeah. Premium role play helmet. Okay. We're gonna open the box now. Let's do I already cut it open for it wouldn't take time off the video. Okay, so this can be a little hard, but um yeah. Let's see what I bought it on Amazon. It was used. It was a used helmet from some guy on eBay, not Amazon. I think it was brand new on Amazon. Or you see the helmet. He just literally took it out the box, he didn't like it. So he sent it to me. Okay, that's a mishap. Cardboard's ripped. I might be giving this away to you guys. Uh, and there's no plastic wrapping like the videos. And there's actually there's zero fingerprints on this thing, except for mine. I just put on it. Wow, I guess this guy like super cleaned it. Okay, we're gonna take it up. I'll take it up. We're gonna move the box and stuff to the side. Choice on my little chair. It's my little gaming room. I don't have a TV in here yet. I put it up. Okay, so I got the helmet up. Whoa, <laughs> this thing's battle damage. This is sick, though. Look at it. Look at the amount of detail on this. They even have like the black spot from the new movie he got. He's like, God damn it, father. Here's a manual. Just a bunch of random stuff in here. Batteries. I already put them in here. I already opened it at the thing when I met the guy to go pick it up. He opened it and he said he had batteries in it. So I was like, whatever. He put batteries in it. Just at, oh wait, what is that? Bluetooth. Oh damn! I'm hooking this up with my freaking tablet. I'm gonna play some Bluetooth for you guys. Okay, get that garbage. I already know how to use this. Guy showed me a couple things about it. I uh, the guy cleaned it for me. Okay, I adjusted the shafts, by the way, too. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's put it on, see how it looks. How do I look, guys? Are we good? I like the hair on the top. Still there? Okay, that's how you lock the doors. Place. Yeah, that's how we lock it. Uh, I gotta say something to, uh, Hasbro. You know what, you could have guys cut up put a little bit more effort onto the head padding. It's literally a rock hard piece of rubber. Like that's all it is. It's a movable hard piece of rubber. Same with the side pieces. But I like this piece. That's the only piece I really like out of this whole thing right now. Not the whole mask, just like piece that's falling out. I pulled that side up. Yeah, I think that's what I like so far. Uh, I wish I had a voice changer, man. That would have been so cool. Uh, I'm going to try to get my puppet's tablet. I guess that's a speaker. I saw two down here. One, two. And then I heard another one on the ear. I guess that's just for, like, surround sound speakers. I wish there was one on the back right there. Right there. That would have been so helpful. Yeah. The nose piece is really comfortable. It just helps a lot for some reason. It just helps a lot. 
like comfortable it is. I love all the amount of detail they put into it. So for taxon logos and stuff. Uh, Starlight's has for taxi and they put all the logos in there, like all the way it's designed in his helmet. Like I just love the way that Hasbro made it. They made it so perfect. And it's so like real to like the real one too. Like just look at it. Wait, when you wanna like have his helmet in real life? Well now you can. For $150, you can, at Toys R Us. I heard they're at Toys R Us, they're like, I bought this one for like, it's $100 straight. The guy gave me a little sale because I bought from him in the past. The Iron Man Legend, I just didn't feel like making a video on it. But yeah, I'm probably going to take this to school and show my friends just because it's pretty sick and I'll let them try it on, I guess. Most of my friends are probably going to watch this anyways by the time I get back to school. But yeah, it is real, guys. It is mine, if you guys were wondering. It's not like a borrow bit. It's actually mine. I'm going to bring it to school. But yeah, I love the helmet so far. And I love the way, like, they made it. So all the different size heads, like, see, like, you pull it out and in. Like, there's three different, like, things. So all the way in. Sort of in. And then all the way out. But I love how, like, if it's up fully out, or like. Like, sort of out, it still has that line there, but I love how they, like. It's like. They still have that little piece right there. Like, the intersection piece. Like, I wish it didn't come with the back coming out like that. I wish the front went up. Like, that would have been so much more helpful, and it would have looked so much like Iron Man. It would have been like Iron Man mask, but it would have looked better because the, the front piece came off, like in the movie. Like, the front piece, like, disappeared, and he still had the back of his helmet on, like, just this part down. He still had this part and the rest of it on, but, like, yeah, it's a pretty good movie. Like, I don't know what the batteries do. I know there's a switch on the right side, right that golden thing right there. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna try to get the um, sound. Oh, shoot! I forgot the eyes glow. Oh, it's sort of like a dimmer shift. It turns it on. I don't like the way that sounds like the turn on switch. I don't like the way that sounds. It sounds too much like Iron Man's one. Or his lights. Yeah, like, I don't know how it looks. Let me see. I love how they added a chin strap too. I'm on the lowest setting because I have a tiny face. My head's pretty big, like widest, so I have pretty wide. Let me put it on. It actually is hard to see out of it with the red lights on. It's kind of brightest. Okay, it's actually pretty hard to see out of it. It's like, right where the little LED is coming out of, it's actually really hard. Like, I love, like, just, I don't know why, but my eyes, like, go intercepting the way I look. And, like, it very, is very buggy. I wish the LEDs came down from the top, said, or, like, see the little, like, dots in it? There's, like, little dots in it. I thought that was the LEDs. See all those little dots? But it's just coming from the side. You can see it, like it's just coming from the saddle. Like I didn't, I wish they never did that. That's just, that's just a little wasting of time. That's the only downside of the helmet I don't like and the battle damaged version. I don't, they have a clean version. I just, I thought the battle damage one would look more like the movie. It just, it does, but I just don't like it like this. I'm probably gonna return this one, get the clean version or just keep both and bring this one to school in case he had, Oh, they have real mesh in there. That's real metal mesh. I thought that was fake. Okay. Okay, you're stepping up your game, Hasbro. It's your iron mask. Yeah, barely any metal. Just the magnets were metal to keep the faceplate on. And the ring that they got. I got a Japan one, so mine came with a ring to unlock the mask and turn on all the features. So, yeah. That's real mesh. I don't know about no other... No, nothing's really else is metal. 
The only really thing I think is metal is that. Have a screws. That's it. I'm tired, guys. I worked all night with my cousins. We're doing snow shoveling at houses. Give us like 20 bucks per house each. But yeah, I like how they did all the like the um the um detail on the inside. I just love it. It's just the way it looks. I wish this these straps were a little more like smaller. I like this strap the way it is. The chin strap, man. It's just like it's just like I like the way they put it in, but like it's kind of like useless because it just goes like goes up here when you first put it on. Then you have to bring it down with your hand. It's and it pops up in a mask. You have to put it back down, and then you have to fix it. It's annoying. Like, I understand why Hasbro put it there for your extra support. It doesn't fall down. I understand that. But, like, could you, like, make it more like this? Maybe more out and make it stiff? Maybe it just, just, like, it's like, I like the way it is. Like, one side is, like, stiff, and one side is, like, you can stretch it really far. I like mine on the low setting, and it just stretches for it's super tight. But it just, like, I have to pull it super hard. That's the way I like it. I usually put my watch leaning up against the box. Usually I like to, like, grab my chin first. Oops. Grab my chin first on it. Then put the helmet on. And, like, one of the thing about this is it's hard to breathe. Yeah. It's, it's hard to breathe. See through these holes? That's the breathing thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'll show you. Right there. Those are the breathing holes. It's very hard to breathe in there. No. I just dislike that part. And then, yeah, this part is just hard. It's just hard plastic. It doesn't have foam or anything. It's just hard plastic. I like the way they made it. Put some goddamn foam on the thing. It's pretty hard and it hurts. I understand it's a collectible piece. But like, you can at least make it comfortable if you're going to wear it. I'm definitely going to wear this stuff at Fan Expo. But I'm probably going to take it off. Really, like, a lot. Like, I'm wondering if it's going to wear out. Like, the straps and it's going to snap. Because I had that on one of my other helmets. My Captain America one I had. But, um, that's all I have to say. It's a really good helmet. There's some downsides. I love how they incorporated the metal, some metal into it. And, um, that's all I gotta do. Uh, that's all that I got to say about the helmet. I just love it in general. It's a really nice helmet. I love how Hasbro made it for just for kids and adults. Not just for kids, but adults and kids. As a cheap alternative instead of expensive 400, 500,000 expensive helmets real metal helmets they can get these ones and it's just a good thing but like like it's a good helmet but like you can make it better quality hasbro that's the only thing i gotta really say i think overall like i would buy this again if i had like the money but um yeah i'll see you guys